bwana Yesu makofi mazuri Ah basi wewe bwana unanipigia unapiga kiongozi wa, ya, wa ibada alafu Yesu unakata kumpigia sasa ni vipi nalisema pigia bwana Yesu makofi alafu wewe unakata na, na video inakuangalia inakulenga hapo amen Baba tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya neema yako asubuhi ya leo Asante kwa sababu ya kutuwazia mema siku hii jema, siku ya furaha na siku ambayo imepata kibali mbele za uwepo wako. Tunakushukuru baba wetu wa binguni kwa sababu ya watoto ambao wanaenda kwa madarasa yao. Bwana tunaomba neema kwa ibada hiyo, tunaomba upako wako, tunaomba mafuta matakatifu yatiridike katika kila moja wao, kwa walimu wao, kwa watoto wenyewe, kwa ibada ya sifa na shangwe wanapo Bwana kuna mkate wa uzima pamoja. Bwana tunaombea upenyo wa ajabu. Wabariki. Nasi tunapoendelea na ibada hii tunaomba neema yako iwe juu yetu utubariki na Bwana utitirishie mafuta kama utukufu wako ulivyo siku ya leo kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na tuseme amen Basi karibisha jirani yako kwa ibada kabla haujaka mwambie na kushukuru kukuona asubuhi ya leo na kushukuru huko area area you know eh? Aya basi alafu unakaa na Mungu atatubariki asubuhi ya leo na ni furaha yangu kubwa kusimama mbele zenu asubuhi hii jema ambao Bwana ameifanya hakika e, ni mkono wake umetuwezeza kufika asubuhi ya leo na ninajua kwamba kwa ma muda ambao tulio nayo neema ya Mungu itakuwa pamoja nasi and the Lord is going to bless us together amen semeni amen Watoto wetu karibuni ambao umekuja kwa holiday kwa likizo fupi tunajua Mungu amekuwa pamoja nanyi tangu tulipo achana at uh, the beginning of the, the year mkienda shuleni na tunajua Mungu amewatendea mema tuliwaombea na Mungu ametembea pamoja nanyi and I want to believe that what we agreed at the beginning ya kwamba Mungu awabariki amewabariki na yale tulikubaliana kwamba muwe mnaenda kanisa ya shule tunaamini kwamba mumeenda na wazazi nataka kuamini kwamba vile tulikubaliana mtapea watoto sadaka wakienda shuleni vile vile mumefanya hayo na kama hukufanya hayo sasa una nafasi nyingine ya kuboresha na kufanya mambo yawe bora zaidi na omba tufungue biblia zetu kitabu cha luka kumi wa mstari wa 31 32 tatu hapo dipo tuta uh, nena mahubiri yetu siku ya leo na ninaamini Mungu atatujalia and God is going to bless us very much this morning ya yeah, Luka kumi tuende hapo let's go there to the book of Luke na tunaamini Mungu itakuwa vyema asubuhi ya leo as we share the word of God and believe together with you now let's begin from verse number Uh, 29 then we go to 30 31 and but he wanted to justify his same said unto Jesus who is my neighbor alafu akasema then Jesus answered and said a certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves and was stripped who stripped him of his clothing and wounded him and departed leaving him half dead so ngabele now by chance a certain priest came down that road And when he saw him, he had passed by on the other side. Let's continue. Likewise, a Levite, when he arrived at the place, came and looked and passed by on the other side. Amen. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. Mm-hmm. So he went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. And he set him on his own animal, brought him to an inn and took care of him continue on the next day when he departed he took out two uh, denarii and he gave them to the innkeeper and he said to him take care of him and whatever more you spend when i come i will pay when i come again i will repay you wacha tufikie hapo kwa wakati huu na nadhani tumzia habari ya watu ambao wanaleta mabadiliko katika maeneo ambao Mungu amewaweka kwa sababu wewe si omnipresent kwa wakati fulani utakuwa maeneo fulani kama saa hii huko hapa 
voi kuna watu wanakaa voi lakini mawazo yao na roho zao ziko Mandela ama ziko Amerika ama ziko mahali fulani nilifanya kazi na mwalimu mmoja wakati ya wa zamani you know miaka kama zaidi ya 15 imeisha na wakati akiwa tukiwa tunafanya kazi na yeye mawazo yake na fikira zake alikuwa anasema mimi nataka kufanya kazi katika shule ambao ni za nyanda za juu kila wakati akiamuka asubuhi akakaa mwaka mmoja akakaa mwaka wa pili akakaa mwaka wa tatu akakaa miaka mitano baadaye akaondoka lakini miaka yake mitano katika mahali pale ilikuwa ni miaka ya bure ambao haina kazi yoyote haina manufaa yoyote haikusaidia yoyote kufundisha ilikuwa mekaniko yani kwa sababu wewe uko pale na siku moja nikamwambia wewe mama ni inabidi ufunguke macho yako hata kama wewe una matumaini ya kwenda nyanja za juu kwa wakati huu uko hapa voi na miaka utakayopoteza hapa ukiwa na ngoja ya nyanja za juu hakuna mtu atakulipa na hata wewe hautasaidia mtu yoyote yule kwa sababu Mungu ndiye anaweka watu katika maeneo fulani kwa wakati fulani anahakikisha uko mahali fulani kama leo uko hapa voi na we ni mshirika wa full gospel church of Kenya Mungu anakutarajia ufanye jambo hapa kama angetaka ufanye jambo deliverance angekupeleka deliverance ukae hapo kama angetaka wacha kuna watu hata wapo makanisani wako ni washirika wa kanisa na wako hapa kanisani lakini wao macho yao wako katika runinga wakiangalia wahubiri wa Amerika wakiangalia wahubiri sijui wa wapi hao ndio wachungaji wao kama mchungaji wako ni wa Amerika omba visa haraka uondoke Shema amen Omba tafuta visa haraka sana uende huko ambao unaweza kuleta mabadiliko mahali ambapo nguvu zako zinaweza kusaidia nguvu zako zinaweza kuleta mambo ambayo wanaweza kufaidi watu wale wengine lakini si kukaa hapo na kusema hii niko hapa kwa muda kama uko kwa muda tafadhali kama sio serikali imekuweka ni vyema uchukue miguu yako enda mahali panafaa kwa sababu mbego ilianguka kwenye barabara ingine ikaanguka kwenye miimba ingine ikaanguka kwenye mawe ile ilianguka kwenye mawe hauna kitu ya kurithi ilianguka kwenye barabara ililibwa na ndege wa angani ilianguka kwenye miiba ilichongwa haikuwa na mazao yoyote sema amen na hivyo ni wewe mwenyewe utakayeamua in the land of my dwelling now what change am i going to bring kwa sababu kila mahali umekaa pana shida pana tatizo pana sababu ya wewe kuwa pale ulete suruhisho unaona si kukaa pale na hakuna kitu unafanya We unaangalia tu unakaa kama hawa watu wawili ambao wametajwa hapo mbele kulikuwa na mulavi na kulikuwa na kuhani wao walipita kando kando ya mtu ambaye amechapwa na mawe ili aje hadi karibu kufa na nao mnasema kwamba si kwamba hawakuona lakini walipoona hakuna kitu walifanya walipita kando ya barabara na wakaendea na shughuli ni kama hawakuona unajua hii story naipenda sana kwa sababu mimi nimekuwa victim wa hii jambo mara kadhaa kuna siku nimejipata nikiwa helpless mahali ambapo sina tumaini na sijui nitafanya nini au nifanye nini nishipokuwa nisaidiwe na mtu fulani mara ya kwanza nilijipata mgonjwa nikiwa kule Tana River nikaanguka juu ya baiskeli mimi nikaenda pande hii na baiskeli kaenda hii na, na, na hii yote ilifanyika kwenye pori na kule kuna manyoka kuna hilo vitu mbaya mbaya sasa nimekaa pale you know najaribu kuinuka siwezi kuinuka ninatapika hilo you know, ma, ma, you know, ya pale ni ile kali kali na watu walikuwa wanalepita wakipiga mbija wakiiba nyimbo kwa sababu nafikiri ilikuwa Jumatatu sasa nyimbo zile walikuwa wameimba kanisani bado siko katika midomo yao nasema cha kuimba ni sina na wanaipita hapo hapo wananiangalia na hakuna kitu wanafanya anaiba nyimbo na wanasimama wanaongea nikiwa hapo kisha wanaenda wakaenda watu wengi tu wakipita lakini pakaja mzee mmoja akanipita alafu akafika pale akarudi aliporudi akanikongoa akaniambia wewe kijana ni nini nikamwambia mimi sisikii vizuri unaona vile nimeanguka hapa akaniambia mimi 
ni sababu chief wa eneo hii na nimepita hapa nikaangalia nikasema hawa ni moja wapo wa levi ambao wanakunywa mibangara sasa amelewa amelala lakini nilipofika pale swali la pili likaninjia sijawahi kuona mulevi musafi bwana huyu mulevi ni musafi na bwana amelala na staili mzuri mzuri nikaudi nikaona hapana hapa kuna mambo hayaunganishi sawa sawa kisha nikamwambia kisa yangu akasema ngoja kidogo akasimamisha mtu wa baisikeli akamwambia enda mpaka ufike mahali pana telephone booth upige namba hii ya simu waambie walimu walimu mwenzao ni mgonjwa hapa pika up ikaletwa mimi na baisikeli yangu tukarushwa juu tukaokolewa lakini kuna watu ambao walikuwa wanipita hapo na wanaona hawaulizi hawashughuliki hawajali hawaoni chochote mara ya pili ilifanyika hapa mwaka juzi hapa hapa mtito nilikuwa naelekea Nairobi nilikuwa nataka kwenda Nakuru asubuhi sasa nimetoka hapa saa saa kumi asubuhi nimepiga gari ya mvua imenyesha kweli kweli kabla ya mtito gari kapatana na shimo imejaa maji haionekani ni usiku kumenyesha ikapiga shimo ikapata pancha za miguu yote ya pande moja You know, yani pande hii pancha na, pan, na si pancha ile unaweza shona yani imeraruka pupu ni, yani ni neema ya Mungu gari haikubigirika sasa lakini kwa vizuri ikasimama kwenye kando na ni usiku niko katikati ya msitu sina wakuita nikiita wapendwa wamezima simu usiku na jaribu kuwapigia hii hey, hey, kunaenda hivi ni saidien sasa nimesimama hapo magari yanakuja na nimulika yanifanyia matana namna hii lakini yanapita Rodi sinakuja chichicha inapita. Mabasi anapiga chacha chacha inapita. Kuna mtu anashughulika na mimi na amesimama hapo. Sasa spare ni moja. Sasa hata kama sipendi ni lazima nisaidiwe. Sasa nimeketi hapo. Kilicho ni udhi kabisa ni kwa sababu ya gari ya askari. Land Rover ambao nimelipia kodi ambao nilalipa askari ako na buduki akaja akasimama mahali niko akaniangalia wakuwa wamejaa kwa Land Rover alafu akaenda hawakunisalimia hawakuniuliza swali waliniangalia na mabuduki zao wakanichungulia wakaenda lakini Mungu ni mwema kijana huyu anatengeneza vio hapa yule anataka na pikipiki na siku anamjua ndiye alikuja na akasimama mahali niko na kwa sababu na toche na mulika na shiru hii gari gani inaonyesha hapa juu nikasema arabu kanibia we mwalimu nakujua ni nini nikamwambia imeenda hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi sasa nikusaidieje fanya hivi ye yeah, kuangalia hata yeye amegonga shimo pikipiki yake imepasuka kwa limu tuko kwa shimo moja lakini yake haijatoa pumzi yote bado inaweza kwenda kamwambia wewe bahatisha kimbia mtito kuna pasa anaitwa pasa nzongo wa full gospel tafuta mahali ilipo mueleze kisha arudi wakati ameondoka i will never forget this day kwa sababu kuna mama alikuja a young lady kuagiza Mahali askari wamekadaa kusimama. Mama ndiye amesimama mama mutogo amesimama na gari yake kumza kunaendeleaje? Nikamwambia vile kumeendelea. Kaniambia hata mimi nimegonga hata niangalie kama hii wangu iko sawa. Sasa ameketi hapo msichana mudogo ni usiku. Ako peke yake. Ana drive peke yake. Ananiuliza nikusaidie namna gani? Nikamwambia mama Mungu akubariki kwa sababu ya kuonyesha ujasiri. Wewe umeshinda hata askari umeshinda watu wana bunduki ijapokuwa si kama alikuwa nayo kwa gari nanyi anajua lakini sasa nikamshukuru alafu nikamwambia akanambia gari yangu ni kubwa haiwezi taya yako haiwezi tosana hapa nikushaidie vipi nikamwambia we nipandie namba ya simu uende mtito ule nimetuma asipokuja utarudi hapa na taili kwa neema ya Mungu pasa zungu akafika tukasulisha mambo kwa sababu kuna watu ambao hawawezi kukusaidia wako pale wana suruhisho but there is nothing they are offering they have help in their hands but there is nothing they are doing semeni amen, amen. tumesungukwa na mashida na matabu ni lazima ifike mahali useme ya kwamba i won't be among the people ambao watakuwa watu wa suruhu ambao watasaidia mahali watu wengine wamekwama na si kwa muzigo wewe mwenyewe mimi nawauliza huyu mtu ambaye anaitwa huyo mtu ambaye anaitwa mulayo je hata kama hakuwa na msaada wowote alikosa namna hata kuambia huyu mtu pole 
Hata kama huwezi saidia chochote. Suwaambie mhubiri akimaliza pole. Chukua mia tano kwa kunywa chai. Sema amen. You know something about unaweza kufanya lakini wao wanapita tu, wanaangalia tu, wanaona. Na hakuna kitu wanafanya. Wanatazama na hakuna kitu wanafanya si kwamba hawakuona, si kwamba hawana masikio, si kwamba hawakuepo ikitendeka, waliona but there is nothing they are doing about it. Hata ile shida tuko nazo kwa Kenya, usivile kwamba watu hawaone, watu wanaona. Wote rudi hapa kwa mama mama boy. Wewe hujui hapa kuna night watch. Unajua? Inaanzaga lini? Night watch ya usiku. Unajua ni jubu ya nyumbani. Kwa hivyo umkuwe tayari kujibu maswali maswali eh? Siku gani? E wewe siku kuna night watch siku nyingine gani? Ehe, haya. Na si unajua watu hawakuji hata wakiadikwa. Na ulifanya nini? Ulipojua kwamba hawachi na wewe ukafanya nini? Jibu mwenyewe, usinijibu. Wacha tu kwa dugu. Hata wewe si unajua, lakini ulipojua kwamba watu hawachi hata wakiandikwa, ulifanya nini? Na wao ukanyamaza kama wao ambao hawakuja. Ukakaa kimya kama wao. Semeni amen. Hata wewe si unajua. Eh? Unajua watu wanataka kufanya namna hii. Unaona program ambazo ni za kanisa zingine zina kwamba na unaona lakini hakuna kitu ulifanya. Na wewe wajiita kuhani ya mukini we ni kuhani yule ameandikwa hapo. Unajiita mulawi ya mukini we ni mulawi huyu ambaye ameandikwa hapa ambao hakuna kitu anafanya. Ni nani hapa ambaye ni mgeni? Ni nani hapa ambaye si mgeni? Tuulizane. Ni nani hapa asiyejua ibada inaanza saa mbili? Wakabu wanajua ibada inaanza saa mbili, wata tusalimiani hewani, kama wanajua ibada ya kwanza inaanza saa mbili, wave to me in the air, wakabu wanajua hata kama ni saa mbili, watu wanakuja saa mbili na robo, wengine saa tatu. Wengine wana, nani hapa, anajua watu wanaingia saa tatu wengine. You know people come to church late, let me see your hand up. Tuko pamoja, hamujui, hamujui watu hucherewa, nani anajua mtu anacherewa, anajua watu wanaopa kuhulijua alifaja nini. Kwa sababu hakuna kitu, Ulifanya si kwamba hukuona uliona kabisa lakini ulipoona wewe ukapita kado kado ni kama hata hukuona ukada ushirika wa mama ukajua mama anatakiwa kuja kwa ushirika hawakuja si kwamba hujui hawakuja you are not ignorant you know the plain truth it is in your heart you know the knowledge you are exposed you are not in ignorance you are not in darkness you know from a to z Every detail is in your heart. But what have you done? Tuko pamoja. Nani ya siyejua tunamuchangu wa patala hekumi? Nani ya najua watani yuna kama kuna watu wanajua? Watu wamekani kama wajui. But even though they know it is 10th of March, some are doing totally nothing about it. Si kuwa bahajui, anayangalia, anasema ini mamba ya kamati. Ya mukini ya mwalai nisema huu ni moja wa walevi wacha alipwe ni wakati wa mushara na hatujui mwenye kupigwa alipigwa kwa sababu ya makosa yake ama alipigwa na wakora wa kawaida hatujui kwa sababu tabia ya watu ni ukipatwa na janga wanaanza kutafuta ni nini unalipa kwa nani alikuambia majanga inapata watu wote wakulipa Yesu alikuwa na janga ipi ndio ende msalabani Simu nijibu Elijah alikuwa na janga ipi ndio ende akakae siku 40 ya kufunga na samaki kidogo ambayo iletewa na Raven na mukata kidogo ni janga ipi ambao alifanya ni maovu ngani alifanya kwa sababu wanadamu they are very busy to fill the dots when they find you in a mess they are busy explaining where the mess has come from Mbona sema kwamba analipa deni za baba yao, analipa madhambi ya babu zao, kama ni babu ni madhambi ya babu, hata we babu yako na babu zenu, wengine walikuwa wachawi na haulipi chochote na hauna janga, kama ni madhambi ya mababa zetu, zote hapa hakuna mtu angekuwa na janga. Tunge watu na yamkuya asubuhi na jioni. Tukimaliza hii tunaenda kwa hii nyingine. 
Karimiana hewa na musembe amen. Tuliabua tusambaga amen kwa sababu ya nini nini. Wakobishe wakijasa na wakangalia kaona si kwa mba hakuona. Ni nani ambaye hajui dugu yake ni mulevi. Anajua lakini hakitu hakitu anafanya. Unaona kijia kweni kila mutu ni mulevi lakini hakuna kitu unafanya. Wewe uko hapa voi tu unapiga mbija na kufurahia. Unaona na jicho moja ingine unafunga ni sione. Ni wana mlaitu wa serikali. Si ivo but hiya no ivo. Yani ona lakini usione kabisa. We ona na usione. Semeni amen. Siku moja ni bechangamukia wanafuzi. Wanafuzi kwa sababu ya matatizo ambao siku wanajua. You know, nimejaribu kujuguza ni nini nakula darasa. Ushuda huu nimeshawa utolea siku moja. Ya komba watoto wamenitatiza ukiwafatia mutihani. Wote wanafata zero. Yani zero one, zero two, zero five, zero one. Yani watoto hamusini na saba. Kila mutu anaanguka. Wanafuzi nimesuspend masomo. Si mara moja. Si mara mbili. Lesson ya dakika 40. Hakuna kitu tunasoma, tunajaribu kuulizana what is the problem in this class? Ni kwa nini mnakaa ni kama you are unteachable? What is wrong? Watu waguka mtihani, lakini watu hawanguki wote. Semeni amen. Hata maga kijiji kimejaa watu maskini, hakukosa gani moja hakuna kuku. You know, ama ama hiyo lazima kuwe na mtu anakaa, you know, rich within the poor. Na katika within the rich, they is also a poor man kwa sababu ukutana na watu matajiri wakubwa wanaendesha prado unakutana na mgonjwa hapo anaendesha ni ndio premio anaambiwa ni maskini kwa sababu watu wa nani sasa wa jamaa wamenisubua nikaamua siku moja nitaomba Mungu mpaka anisaidie kwa sababu nimeuliza wanafunzi sipati jibu nimefanya uchunguzi nimegonga mwamba Mungu nisaidie na Mungu ni mwaminifu baraka kunieleza shida ya hiyo darasa aliniambia da pale 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 chemistry lab na uchukue Bansen bana pipe na utandike hawa watoto na ukiwatandika utajua shida yao kwani unafikiri ni estate nilijia mara moja nikaichukua na nikaenda kwa darasa nikamwambia today we have a special lesson na kwa kuingia hivi hivi hofu imejaa tahari you know there is a special lesson today na hii lesson ya kutoa pepo na mara mingi nimewachapa na viboko lakini leo nimekuja na kiboko cha Mungu. Semeni amen. Watoto wa kanisa kudalambika. You know, mwalimu tumeeni, kaambia hata mimi hakuna kitu nimefanya lakini I'm only obeying the voice of God and I told the students please let us stand up and they stood up and I tell them let us pray together for this kid because it is not mine. Na tukaomba kiboko na tukaenda kwa saburi 40 na 23 na iron and the staff they comfort me leo he mandiko kama vile Yesu alisema roho wa bwana yuko juu yangu ameletia mafuta alafu akaambia watu sinagoge na maandiko haya yametimia kwenu na mimi nikamwambia na hii imetimia kwenu mkiona leo mtaiona okay kwa bahati sio chairman alikuwa kwa hiyo darasa nikamwambia hiyo unaanza viboko tano mwalimu akajitangaza umefanya nini kamwambia sijui of course sio chairman unamchapa lakini unakuwa mwangalifu si ndio una unatoa na nguvu ikija lakini wakati wa landing imeudwa vizuri vizuri sana jamaa nikawatandika ni watu wengi watoto hamsini na saba nikafikia jamaa moja akaniibia mwalimu wewe huwezi kunipiga nikamwambia wewe kaa kando nitamalizia na wewe mwingine akasema vivyo hata wewe kaa kando nikamalizia hao wengine kwenda kwa huyu mmoja ambaye alikuwa amekataa Roho wa Mungu akanijaza nguvu. Jamani nimebeba na mkono wa left. Nikamwekea hewani. Na nikamwambia wewe unaenda saba kwa sababu jamaa akaniambia huwezi chapa hapa. Nikamwambia hapo hapo ya mkini pepo imekaa hapo. Ya mkini hapo unakataa. Maybe that's what the devil is. Wapendwa it was a very serious matter. Wapendwa wa jamani nilikuwa nasikia wakikariri sabuni sabuni tatu kwa sababu nikwambia nikikupatia moja unaenda pale unafungua bibili yako mnafanya si ale Psalms 23 and begin to say the Lord is my shepherd na ukifika hapo basema kwamba thy rod and thy staff they confirm me you underline and shout and this day the things have come jamaa huyu jamaa alimwekelea hewani kakaa moja bili tatu ya saba ikaingia ilipoingia alilia kama dume kondoo kabisa 
Mwenzake alipoona akajipeleka juu hakungoja kupelekwa akajirusha juu ya mesa nikampatia tulipomaliza tukaomba alafu tukachukua bandisheni bana tukairushia kwenye dirisha kwa pamoja nikwambia nimerudi kuwa mimi sasa ili kuwa ni Mungu wapendwa that night usiku huo vijana walinuka the whole school wakainukia hawa vijana wawili ambao walikuwa wakataka kuchapa hawa nilipatia saba kwa sababu wao ndio chairman na secretary wa chama cha ma lesbian wanaume anaitwa nini masondome sasa baba alikuwa anakaa kichwa ngumu akaambua tumeteseka ya kutosha leo tumechabwa kichabo cha umbwa kwa sababu ya wewe tunakuweka wazi si kwamba walikuwa hawajui si kwamba walikuwa hawana fahamu they knew the story they knew where the challenge was in the new chairman knew about it but said nothing kitu alifanya alinyamaza tu akakimia namna hiyo hakuna kitu alifanya lakini kitambo asembe moto ulikuwa imewaka na wakainuka na mawe wanataka kupiga mtoto wameendea moto jikoni wanataka kuachoma watu ishirini waangamia wote sasa wamesema hatuwezi umia na tunaumia kwa kitu ambao tunachua in short hawa watu walifukuzwa na wakaenda kabisa and within one time the class changed and people began to score and people began to understand and people begin to see na wakaanza kuona lakini they were held ignorance by refusing to act on an information that you know hata kanisa tunatatizwa hapa na watu wakora huko town mnangoja mpaka kitu ilibuke na wewe unakijua si kwamba hujui Unajua huyu msichana tunataka kumteua akue asha kanisani na unajua kabisa ana mpango wa kando lakini unafunga jicho usema isitoke na mimi itoke na nani Si wewe ndio unajua Eh sebeni yemeni Si wewe unajua kabisa Sasa mbona unajifanya kama huyu mtu ambaye ameona ameshuhudia ameona huyu mtu amepigwa lakini hakuna kitu anafanya ameona huyu ameteswa ameona lafuja ndamu ako karibu kufa lakini anapita kando kando wanasema nisione wala nisisikie wala nisijulikane semeni amen unafikiri ila matatizo tuko nao hapa Kenya ni kwamba watu hawajui watu wanajua watu wana shida juzi ndiko anaangalia nini tv naangalia judgment ya wajil nikasema Mungu saidia Kenya you know majaji wamekaa huyu anasema nimekubaliana huyu ajili alikuwa na nini alichagulia vizuri huyu anasema nikauliza jameni hata kama mimi si jaji kitu ya kuangalia certificate wakili jaji kitu ya certificate due require code si unaenda university unauliza huyu mtu aliingia saa ngapi aliingia mwaka gani you know lakini watu wanasunguka sunguka si kwamba watu hawajui wanajua lakini kila mtu anafunga kama anafunga macho asiona na akae kama asiona wakati wa Kenyata kuna wimbo wa Kenya ulikuwa na wimbo wa Wakikuyu yani kanyoni kangu jivicha ficha ficha na ukipatikana usionekana yani yani fanya maovu ninakuona lakini wakati utashikwa sikujui kwa sababu watu wanajifanya tu lakini wanaona tuko pamoja nani asiyejua kama kwao walizaliwa wachawi si wewe unajua Nani asiyejua babu yao kama alikuwa mchai si wewe unajua Nani asiyejua haya na yale na yale na yale siku nyingine nimeenda pale kwangu ubirikani nikakuta mchabi amebadika maandiko yake ya kujitangaza yeye ni mchabi alafu anakuja anaweka kwangu kwa gate hapo juu Yaani kaliza ungu haya ni mtu huyo yani yani amenidharau kiasi hiyo Baba ameenda akabadika yenyewe nilitoa lakini ni nikajifanya nitaitoa saa sa nane usiku wakati kila mtu haone unajua imeweka kwa stima hapo juu sasa nikatafuta suli nikapata huko juu mara ya kwanza nikakataa kutoka mara ya pili nikataa kutoka mara ya tatu nikasema leo lazima utoke hata kama nitapata kama nini nyani nitafika huko wakati niko na shuka nimemaliza kutoa nikasikia mtu akiuliza habari unafanya nini <laughs> habari unafanya nini nikamwambia hapana nikajitetea nikasema huyu mtu amebadika hii kitu nataka kumpeleka polisi siku zama kwamba anataka kumbali zama nataka kumpeleka polisi kwa sababu anadaganya watu alafu sasa kuangalia vizuri jamaa akatokea akasema haya mwalimu nakujua ninajua wewe ulikuwa unafanya mambo ya kiroho 
Kumbe ni mtu ninajua lakini amejificha mahali ananiangalia anangoja boda boda. Yaani nafikiri nimejificha kweli kweli hakuna mtu anaweza niona kuna jamaa amepokea boda boda ananiangalia. Why? All the things that you see and all the problems that we have is not that people don't know. They know but they are not willing to do anything. They are not willing to stretch their hand. Kwa sababu wengine they are intimidated. Wengine wanawoka. Wengine pia ni moja wapo wa hayo maovu ndio hawataki kusema na hawataki fungua. Lakini sikiza maandiko haya. Hebu turudi hapa kwa maandiko yetu. Yesema by a chance a certain priest akafita katika hiyo njia. Priest na na na, na, na mulawi ni nani wa nguvu zaidi? Si ni priest. Huyo tayari ametiwa mafuta. Huyo naye mulawi ni moja wa kabila linalotoa makuhani. Lakini ijapo kuwa walikuwa na mafuta, ijapo kuwa walikuwa na neema ya Mungu katika maisha yao, ijapo kuwa Mungu aliwapatia opportunity ya kufanya jambo hilo, lakuna kitu walifanya, walika na wakaangalia. Hawakukosa kufanya because they don't have the power. It's not that they did not have the strength. It's not that they did not have an opportunity to do it. Lakini waliona, walipoona kwa sababu ba hatutambiwa na maandiko, iwe ni ubinafsi, iwe ni woga, iwe ni sijui ni kitu gani, lakini hakuna kitu walifanya. Na batiaga mifano mingi ya wali, ya wanafunzi kwa sababu ukawa na wanafunzi. Siku nyingine nimeingia kwa darasa nimekuta wanafunzi wameosha darasa nusu, yani halfway, nusu, baada hii imeoshwa, baada nyingine haijaoshwa sana kwa wanafunzi lakini bwana kichweni inafanya kazi mzuri bwana mnawaza mnaosha how do you clearly have the class and that one is not done nikauza muliona ya kwamba haijaoshwa eh tuliona haijaoshwa alafu kwa sababu yule mtu anafaa aoshe pande hiyo alifukushwa nyumbani akaleta school fees kwa hivyo ndio maana hatujaosha sasa nikamuuliza okay kwa hivyo muliona eh unajua hajui na wapeleka wapi nikawapeleka pole pole Nikauliza ni vitu vingine gani umeona kwa hii shule? Umeona miti? Eh ndio. Umeona riding hall? Eh ndio. Na wakati mlienda kukula, mkate wa huyu mtu uliona? Kuna ile mikate mnapewa breakfast, ndio? Uliona mkate wako na huyu ambaye amefukuzwa kwa school fees, uliona mkate wake? Eh ndio, uko wapi? Si mkate umekula. Umekula mkate wake, lakini kazi yake hutaki kufanya. Na si kwamba hukuona umeona lakini hakuna kitu unafanya wapendwa ni waulize ni wangapi wanatembea hapa voi usiku ni wangapi wanajua kwamba hapa kuna makahaba wanachapa mlaini pale karibu na line ya kwenu lakini even as the people see when we call them to come for kesha to bite those problems they still retreat to their blankets hapa kuna amen wacha nirudie kuna vituo vya pombe hapa voi. Kuna kuna ba kalikali zinauza mbangara. Tunapoitana tuje tuombe tufunge pepo za ulevi na pepo za ukahaba na pepo za wizi siku ya Friday huwa unaenda wapi? Eh? Si kanisa mujibu, si mnakuwa kama hali. You must be sabwa. Hawezi kuwa nowhere, si ndio? Kwa mfano Friday mase shulikuwa mahali. Unajua ukikaa hapa bele, maswali yote inakulega. Ulikuwa hapa asante sana. Okay. <laughs> Dogo mperwa. Si ufrai ulikuwa mahali. Sijui ni wapi. Usiniambie ni wapi kwa sababu you are not nowhere. You must have been somewhere. Si ndio? Mahali fulani. Even kukula ulikuwa na kula, fanya kazi na si sembi ya kwamba kukosa kesa, yani huwezi kosa, huwezi kuatende kesa zote milele. Lazima siku moja utajipata shule, kuangalia mtoto, utajikuta kazini, lakini hauwezi kuwa busy 52 weeks. Bwana hapa mpigia makofi yani anga nisikie kama nimesema kitu eh tuliposema tunataka kufunga na kuomba wewe si kwamba hukusikia lakini ukaenda kukula mukate ukaenda kukula ugali si kwamba hukusikia matangazo ulisikia vizuri na ukaandika vyema ya kwamba friday there is prayer and kesha for the city of hoy but after that where did you go you will not tell God that you never heard. You will never tell God that you did not know. You are given God made sure you pass the avenue so that you can see. Now to be able to find a need. 
leo bwana simu lisalie hewani hata yani unafanya hivi hata hakuna point unasema si ndio wewe ni nani asiyejua kuna mashida katika shule nani asiyejua wasichana wa university wanazalia huko hata kama alitumwa kusoma lakini tunapokuita tupeleke injili pale hakuna kitu unafanya tukwambia hata kama huwe direct pesa unaleta shilingi tano ndio unaanguka unaweka hapo chini unasema hiyo ni muziki wa mwalimu acha bebe muziki wake wacha nikwambie Mungu atahakikisha umejua na umesikia na umeelezwa Amen Usimalizie Haya tena <laughs> Si kwamba hawakuona, si ndio? Wameona ijapokuwa ana mafuta, Mulawi alikuwa ana mafuta kabisa, ametiwa upako, ametiwa neema, ametiwa kibali, lakini hakuna kitu alifanya. Mafuta akaweka mfuko kwa wale hawana shida, kwa wale ambao hawana matatizo, kwa wale ambao hawastahili kusaidiwa, ndio alikimbia kusaidia. Wale ambao wanalia kwa sababu ya furaha ndio alikimbia kubangusha machozi ndio na watu wanatoa pesa kwa preveri na semi kutoa preveri ni mbaya anatoa shilingi laki moja lakini akifika pesa ya kupeleka injili anasema umetuwekea muzigo mkubwa mhm mtu mmoja hata ni dugu kanyere aniambia wakati tu tunafanya mchango wa project akanambia tukiandikia vijana vijana pesa ya kutoa watu wakasema hai umeandikia vijana pesa kubwa kanyera akasema hapana hawa watu wana pesa nani anakuambia hawana goja aitwe kusimamia harusi atanunua suti 1500 atanunua kiatu 2000 atanunua shati 800 atanunua tai shilingi 200 huyo mtu ako karibu kutoa shilingi 1000 kwa mavasi ya harusi ambao hata ingesimamiwa na mtu mmoja ama wawili bado ingeunganika na watu hawa wazaane na waongezeke duniani lakini kivika kanisani unamwandikia shilingi mbili unamuonea huruma hakuna huruma this time around Semeni amen why kwa sababu yeye ameona si kwamba amesikia lakini hata ingawanchi amepewa neema hata ingawanchi amepewa kibali na Mungu Ada igawaje amepewa upako ni Mulawi roho wa Mungu ako juu yake neema ya Mungu iko juu yake but need nothing about it but let's look at this man look at this man called the Samaritan twendere but a certain Samaritan as he journeyed came where he was and when he saw him he had compassion what is the difference na watu hawa mafuta walipewa na mtu Mafuta amepewa kwa sababu amehitimu. Lakini mtu huyu alikuwa sijui ni rehema. Waje tuseme rehema, si ndio? Eh? Compassion is ni rehema, si ndio? Ama ni fadhili, whatever. Waje tumie neno compassion. Kwa sababu ya kuwa na compassion ndani ya moyo wake. Kwa sababu ya moyo wake kuwa tofauti. Umepata compassion ya Mungu akaanza kufanya kazi akaanza kujukumika kwa mtu asiyejua kwa mtu asielewa kwa mtu ambaye hawajai kutana kwa mtu ambaye hafahamu lakini kwa sababu the compassion of god is in his heart he began to work wakati mungu alizungumzia maandiko haya ilikuwa mwanzo wa mwaka na kitu cha ajabu bishop kwa ukweli nilikuta nikakuta maandiko haya nikashangaa wakati tulikuwa hapa tukiomba usiku tunataka kuruka mwaka that fast Mungu alizungumzia moyo wangu nikimuuliza what do you need in your people in 2019 kaniambia i need them to have a compassionate heart i need them to have a compassionate heart na hii maandiko siku yaona nilikuja kuyaona baadaye nikaona kweli tunaongozwa na nabii wa Mungu that god needs people who will desire his compassion in their heart so that they can do the will of god 
willingly ili wafanye kasi ya Mungu pasipo kusukumwa na mtu pasipo kuvurutwa na mtu ya kwamba unaona matatizo ya watu unaona shida iliyokuepo unaona milima iliyopo unaweza kutoa fedha zako pasipo kuulizwa na mtu wakati wa Nehemiah Nehemiah was not the only officer in the state house then sio peke yake alikuwa walikuwa wengi ambao waliongozwa na matumbo zao ambao waliongozwa na kunona kwao na wacha nikwambie taarifa ambazo zilimpata Nehemiah ukisoma Nehemiah chapter 1 utaona kwamba wenye walipelekea Nehemiah taarifa si kwamba walikuwa nampelekea ah walikuwa napita tu shughuli zao za kawaida za kuingia ikulu na kukula manono na kukula masito masito na kushiba shiba na kunona nona lakini Nehemiah akawauliza ebu ni pasheni habari za dugu zangu masalio ya mateka wakamwambia hali yao ni mbaya sana alafu Nehemiah akageuka uso wake akaanza kulia wao waliona manuguniko wakaona mashida but they did nothing about it Nehemiah akapata taarifa and began fasting Unaona tofauti ya watu hao wawili Simuseme amen Unaona watu hao wawili hebu angalia wewe dada tuangalie mimi ni Nehemiah tu kwa leo wewe jifanye hawa watu wengine ambao walikuwa walimepelekea Nehemiah sasa tukate wakatembea wote pamoja Nehemiah ako hapa na wewe na huyu na mwakazi na lini ni kwa leo tu hebu tembea uangalie hali ya watu ukaangalia sote tumeona umeona ukaona huyu hana viatu mpya angalia huyu mwingine hana nini ukaangalia uona nana ukaona ndugu kasati kale kazamani wamevaa alafu alafu leta taarifa alafu nikakuuliza hebu taza eh hey, Mrs Mrs Kuria habari utokako habari utokako nini ni gawana hawana nini nini ki hawana kwa hivyo una habari eh kwa hivyo habari uzo nazo mbona una keti eh haya baada ya kuona ukaenda wapi uja hata kukati ukaenda kukula si ndio ukaenda kukula nini manono na masito na furaha uliponipatia taarifa i have only had but you have the first hand experience look at the difference you have the first hand experience i have only had mimi nikusikia peke yake nimesikia lakini wewe aliyeraruiwa unamjua anayepigwa unamjua anayeteswa unamjua baada ya kuona hayo ukaitisha cock ukaitisha kuku munono ukaita samaki utakaa kwa mudo lakini mimi Nehemiah nikaanza kufunga na kusali mbele za Mungu kwa sababu ya watu wana shida ambao sikuona lakini nimesikia lakini wewe uliona ukara chapati usikae ngoja sijamalizana na wewe ulipona ukaenda kukula wewe kasi yako ni mchochole mchochole si ndio ni kasi hapa na pale inaweza saa tatu ama saa nne kuanzia saa sita mpaka saa nane ni kulala mimi Nehemiah nina mashughuli mengi paka nikitaka kufunga ya kushawa paka niombe live Mimi ambao nina mashughuli mengi ndio nimeenda kufunga na kuomba lakini wewe ambao uko na free time ambao wewe ni housewife you can fast the whole day even with a husband not knowing but even though you have all the time and all the resources to do so but you did not do it why you have a heart you have the anointing i have a compassionate heart una tofauti una roho una pako mafuta mulawi lakini moyo hauna haina compassion ndani yake ndio maana uliona ukala uka mchore chochore na yale mengine ukafanya lakini sasa unaweza kaa kwa muda lakini mimi nikaona mimi Nehemiah na nikachukua muzigo kwa sababu moyo wangu umejaa fadhili za Mungu because I have the compassion of God in my heart wacha niwaambie 
wale watoto ambao wako Kenya ambao wamekosa ka nini zinaitwa school fees zinaitwa nini karo si kwamba hatuna fedha za kulipia watoto tunazo za kutosha lakini tumiongozwa na watu ambao mioyo yao imejaa tamaa ya chakula imejaa tamaa ya kunona imetaja tamaa ya kuwa wakubwa they see the poor and give them handouts minus the compassion of god god they don't have a compassionate heart that's why they do all the things that you see mwaka jana nilienda kuhubiri wicked challenge makweni boys high school na nilipokuwa nikampigia nika patron nikamwambia kwa sababu mimi pia niko kazini kama wewe na tuko na kesha kanisani friday sitakuja kuhubiri friday usiku lakini na kuahidi saa tatu asubuhi ya saturday nitakuwa kwa hiyo shule and i will man the whole the whole saturday including sunday i'll be there so nikapigia kinyana mwingine mwanafunzi tulikuwa nafunga na yeye anafanya na account nikamwambia twende makweni na tutatoka voice saa kumi na moja ili saa tatu tuwe tukua makweni tulipofika huko makweni asubuhi saa tatu tulikuwa pale nikakutana na mchungaji mwingine ambaye alikuja kumani weekend challenge the previous night friday na alikuwa ametoka maeneo ya kinango wewe angalia kinango alikuwa ametoka na kuru akaja kusimamia usiku huo alafu ni baukuda akaniambia nilikuwa na kusubiri wewe na nilikuwa nimeamua siyesi ondoka hapa mpaka ufike nijua kwamba hii, hii weekend challenge itaendelea vizuri na mpaka umefika sasa nileweza kuondoka lakini kwa sababu ninaenda kinango kuhubiri kesho nitahubiri leo usiku kwa shule na kesho nitahubiri pale pale kinango hii season ya kwanza nitakaa na wewe tukule mkate pamoja na tukimaliza nitaondoka alafu sasa tukamaliza ibada season ya kwanza tulipomaliza akanambia nimefurahia na huduma hiyo yako na ninaona una moyo kama wangu ninaomba ukifika voi siku ile utakuwa na, na mikutano ya watoto ukose muhubiri nipigie simu nitakuja alafu sasa akaniambia na ujue mimi usiogope kuniita kwa sababu sio wale wahubiri wanaulizaga nitapata nini nikija mimi ni wale wahubiri wanaulizaga nitaleta nini nikija kwa sababu gani akaniambia mimi i am a compassionate preacher i preach out of the compassion of god i have enough money to reach every school in this country i am not among the people who preach so that they can get wealth unaona tofauti na kaniambia nilikuwa nimeketi hapa hata kama ungekuja singetoka hapa until i make sure that this weekend challenge is successful kwa sababu gani kuna watu wanahubiri watu wamebadilisha madhabahu ya Mungu kwa sababu hana compassion ya Mungu ndio maana madhabahu ya Mungu imekuwa trading platform ndio maana watu wanalipia maombi ndio maana wanalipia kuwekelewa mikono ndio watu wanalipia maharushi wanalipia ndugu yangu alikuwa anaitwa Njuguna Njuguna mnamjua cooperative bank hakuna mtu amjua wa zabadi hapa alifiwa na mtoto lakini si juzi ni kitambo na alipofiwa na mtoto baada ya mazishi alipomaliza wakati wanazika wanamaliza pale na huyo mtoto alikuwa ameguza huyo mzee kwa hali ya juu wakati wanamaliza kusema anaitwa kando na mmoja wapo wa dikos wa kanisa wanamuuliza wapi pesa ya muhubiri you know the man is busy kushanyari mchanga kwa sababu watu wamezika kwa haraka haraka wameondoka ye yeah, ameamua kuuliza mtoto wake mchanga mzuri kuwekea mabaya wakati anafanya anaguswa na mtu anaitwa wapi pesa ya muhubiri tumpeleke shilingi 5000 you know people without compassion they do all disaster things they do all manner of evil all manner of wickedness hata hawezi guswa huyu mtu amefua na mtoto anazika wewe unauliza shilingi 5000 hata kama ungelipwa hamsini unaweza vua huyu mtoto look at this man the bible says akampeleka mpaka kwa hotel hakuuliza kabila hakuuliza watoka wapi ukiona mtu anauliza kabila lako 
He has no compassion of God. Unauliza usaidia. Unauliza fanye nini? Wauliza kabila. Kile kinafanya watu wakuwe stinge na fedha zao kanisani. Stinge. Friday nilikuwa naambia watu hapa tukiombea kesha, ni usi nili mchango. We need prayers for the project. Nikamwambia wacha nikwambie. Leo hii hata sasa unwaambie, nyie waambie kata hapa. Leo hii ukasikia pale biashara street Nairobi. Pale pako na bazaar house. Si unapajua? Very prime land. Hapo katikati leo hii pangetangazwa kuna plot ya 100 by 100 na inauzwa only 1 million. Na itangazwa full gospel church of Kenya boy. Isitangazwa mahali pengine na milango ifungwe na ifungwe hii habari isiende mahali popote. Na isemekane hii plot ni lazima inurue saa 12 leo. Believe it or not, there are people here who will buy it. Mbona usema amen? People will sell property. People will sell what they have. They will borrow from every corner. They will go to every corner of the world and they will not disclose. But now look at when we come for the church. Because the compassions of God have gone to town. You must work out mechanically. Paka upitia watu uchoche, 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 uchoche. Kama hile tinga tinga ya samani. Ama hile kishiaki ya samani. Ama hile nadrufa ya samani. Reva likuwa toka ije. Arama likuwa toka ije. Arama inata kuondoka. Jameni hallelujah. Haa simu za limia ya wani wapendwa. Jameni hile hema za mungu zirienda wapi. Where are the compassions of God? Where are the compassionate people? Ambao, wataona misigo ya mungu, waanze kufanya kazi pasipo kuulizwa. Where are these compassionate people? Are you one of them? Ambao, bibina nisema, akatoa mufinyo wake. Na ujua huyu alikuwa nini? Alikuwa nini? Nini? Samaritan. Bisho muna hapa rabo ufulisha kanisa. Samarita likuwa nafanya nina mafuta. Ilikuwa sini mafuta hili ya mbalise hii ya kawaida. Sido, si, ilikuwa siya upako. Sini musamalia. Sasa, hawezi kuwa ni mafuta ya upako. Ilikuwa ni hili ya sokone. Sido, lakini hata inkawaje ni ya kununua. Hakuona haya kumuagia vidoda. Na ule anayo ya bure hakumuaga. Mulabi, huyu ambaya naitua Levite. Mafuta, bisho, walikuwa nanunua. Hawanunui, si walikuwa nituwa kanisani. Ye? Yeah? Siya naleta watu, lakini hakuona, hawezi mwaka. Lakini huyu, ameda dukani ya kanunua, kitu ilio na uchungu, dani ya mwoyo wake, amegaramika, diyo aliweka mafuta. Akamuagia vidoda, and had all the time to do for that man in the hotel. Kila yunafanya, useme you are busy. Don't say you are busy. Just say the, the compassion has existed, and has made you busy. Salama rohoni. Ni salama rohoni. Sio shuguri ukonaso. Si masaa huna. Sio wakati ambao huna. Uyu mamuze musamalia mwema. Alilala akabadirisha siku ya kwenda. Si kwa mba hakuwa na shuguri mingi za kufanya. Lakini rehema ambao konazo. Fathiri ambaso zinachipuka nani ya moyo wake. The compassion of God made him have time. Let me tell you. Whatever you are compassionate about. You will have time for it. You will have resources for it. You will have the hour for it. Kira kina kuzuya wende. Uka kusanye maombi. Kwa dugu zako ambao ni walevi. Unakata kuenda nyumbani. Ukawakusanye muwabe pamoja. Mufukuse pepo ya ulevi. Si time ambao huna. Huyo dugu yako ukitiwa amekufa. Sutaenda kuzika. Amba tazema sina time. Sibaru utaenda. Lakini kina ambao kina kuzuia kuenda. Ni kwa sababu ule mwe wabao unaduna. Dani ya mwe wako unakusukuma. Unasikia huyo mutu hafai kufakiwa mwenye dhambi. Huyo mutu hafai kuangabia. Huyo mutu hafai kuharibiwa. Hiyo ni naitua compassion ya mungu. That compels you to make action. Using your resources. Using your time. Using your moment. Using your hour. And the things that God has given you. Lamentation. Inasema kwamba 
kitabu cha maombolezo tatu nafikiri 22 23 nasema nini ni, ni, ni kweli eh nasema is by the mercies of god we are not consumed because his compassion fails not there is no way ambao rehema zinaweza anguka ambao zinaweza kosa kufanya kazi kile kinafanya wewe ukose kufanya ni kwa sababu mita ya rehema za Mungu imeshuka ndio maana unaona watu wanafanya kila aina ya maovu unaona mtu amekuja kanisani anafuruta kiti vile anavyotaka kwa sababu hakununua kinavunjika hataki kujua kinaanguka vile vinavyotaka siku moja na unajua vyombo vya shule si expensive tumenunua tu you know mixa mpya you know hata hikugalimu pesa mingi ilikuwa 4000 sasa tumenunua sasa nina furaha vile watoto sasa watakuwa na furahia tukaenda tukaweka kwa meza kijana mmoja akazika hiyo mixa akaivuruta kwa mchanga yani nikashikia nikama stima imetoka huko ndani nikashirwa hai heaven father hold me kwa sababu jamaa anaweza mpiga kofi mbele ya watu akiona eh hey, Mungu unisaidie alafu nikamuuliza jameni yani ugusho wa Mungu yani bila hata huwe nione hiyo kitu naumbia unafuruta vile unataka kwa sababu yeye rehema za Mungu aziko amepungukiwa ndio maana unaona huyu mtu anaitwa Sulemani wakati alikutana na wanawake wawili mmoja ameleta mtoto wake amekufa mwingine ameleta mtoto ambaye yako hai huyo ambaye mtoto wake amekufa Sulemani akasema basi kata mara mbili <laughs> mimi sijawahi kuwa sijawahi kuwa karibu na matane toward ni kuwa nasikia watu upiga duru lakini mama ambaye alipiga nduru akipata mtoto amesikia mtoto atakato vipande viwili akashangilia kila mtu aende na pande zake huyo mwingine akasema hapana let the child live in somebody's hand i keep seeing because i have a feeling for this child kwa sababu moyo wangu umeunganika na huyu mtoto heri aishi kwa jirani niwe ninamuona heri akae mbali na mimi kuliko ukaa kwa buri what the difference between the two mothers one has a dead heart as as dead as a child as dead as the dream as dead as the vision that's why you don't feel when others people vision die you don't feel when other people are suffering namba ile bei na shukrani nyingi kwenu wakati moto is kutoka pale nilisikia vile mlitoka kwa fujo ebipiga mtu mkono wa hai mwambie Mungu akubariki kwa sababu ulizima moto bora usali usemi nasema salimia mtu hawani petano mwambie mwalimu anashukuru sana lakini hata hapo wakati moto unachomeka kuna mtu alikuwa anakambia tv hapo hapo anauliza mlango utavunywa namna gani toe people without compassion without a feeling in their heart they belong to what is written in second the book of timothy ya kwamba katika siku za baadaye kutainuka kizazi kisio muogopa mungu kizoshughulika na mungu ambao hakina natural affection katika moyo wao na maandiko ya karudiwa katika kitabu cha roma nasema kwamba wakati walitenda maovu na mabaya God gave them to a reprobate mind. Na walipopoa reprobate mind wakawa watu ambao hawana uguso katika mioyo yao. They can manda. How else do you explain? A doctor who is professionally trained ameletewa mgonjwa, mamu toto mumama amekuja amebeba mimba ya miezi tano. Hana shida yoyote. Alafu anapeana mwili wake, makasi ingizwe ikate mtoto akufe huko ndani. I think some doctors need to be put on the hanging rope. How do you do such a thing? You procure abortion by cutting with scissors, with a panga. Na wewe ni binadamu. Hata roho ya Mungu kitogo ile ile kitogo 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 hata kama ni size ya kuku usingekuwa nayo. Yaani unafanya watu unafanya maovu hawesisikia chochote. Eh hey, Mungu atusaidie. Si Mungu atusaidie. Si Mungu atusaidie. Kama Yesu alikutana na mama aba mtoto wake analia na yeye analia kwa sababu mtoto wake amekufa katika muchi wa nine na bila sema kwamba and Jesus had compassion alipomuonea huruma akasema eh hey, mama usilie kile kinafanya we encourage watu is the compassion of god 
Why do we have people wearing the same shirt? Because they are poor in the same church. And in the very church, there are some people who can wear the same. They, they cannot repeat a dress for the whole year. Ms. Kevin and Meuliza. Kuna watu wamba wana kunya na shati moja. Kanisane na siyo uzembe. Ni mamba ya memwende ya murama. Na hapo kuna mutu wakivaa guo leo. Ata irudia mwaka ujao. Jameni. Siwa pe mungu wa kusaidi na huruma zake. Anga ukashikia ukatenda jambu. Uka tumangaria kanisane. Vila tunakopa. Tunakopa pesa ya kununua mabasi. Na we peki yako unanua ploti ya milioni kumi. Na uko hapa na tunalia. Na unatuona tukilia. Jameni hata kama hurumi mungu. Suhurumi ya kilio chetu. Uzeme wache, wacha kulia. Wacha ni kusaidie. Salimia ni hewani wapendwa. Na uliza. Where are the compassions of God? Where have they departed? Where have they gone to? That husbands can beat their wives. Hata kama humpendi. Si muambi arudi kwenu. Na arudi kwa salama. Wakata mutu na panga. Wakata mutu na rungu jameni. Kwa nirehe masa mungu ziliada wapi. Mengine nani mama. Amekea mwanake. Kwa chakura. Ameweka steel wool. Ati mwana akule adungwe uko nani. What is wrong with you woman? Where have the compassions of God gone to? Mero kusaidia we mwenyebe. Salibia ni hewani. Watu wale wanaiba serikali. Wanaiba shuleni. Wanaiba mahali pakazi. Si kwamba si watu. Ni watu kama webe. But the compassions of God have departed. Zimeondoka. Wakati ni hambishu wa voiceka wa ni kambiwa. Ati niyede huko mulimani pale juu. Yani, yani ni padage huko mirimani. Nilieda kwa, kwa mkubwa ule immediate. Nikamu, hata ni mshirika hapa kanisani. Nikamuabia mama. Hata kama si. Hata kama mii si mzuri sana. Katika serikali. We huwezi kuniagalia hivi. Uka imagine nikipada mulima. Uka nihurumia. Yani, huwezi kukaa hivi mama. Uka, uka, uka imagine. Ni mii ndi yogo. Ni mepada sagara. Napada mulimani kwa baridi. Arafu nitafute na mna akuruli. Mama huwezi kuniagalia na mna hii. Hata kama hakuna kitu ingine. Can you just look at it and have some mercy? I said, okay, I will think about it. Sikuwa kitu ingine, ni mwambia, I need your mercy. I need your fathiri. Uniangalie tu, can you try to imagine? Yani, the way you are going to disorganize my life and put it upside down and disorganize it and, and look confused, I, I achieve nothing. Nazema, hata mi ni meona. Na sikuwa ni mefikiria na mna hiyo, lakini sasa ni mefikiria. Why? Because you need people who have compassion. About they will look at you and have mercy on you. People will touch other people's lives without counting which tribe they come from, which place they come from, which gender do they come from, which land do they come from, who are they without asking questions. Tuko pamoja. Leo hi, tunaenda crusade uko maungu. Wiki jao na yu igire tokuwa na open air. Jameni ata kama Hata kama pedi kuhubiri. Suhushikwa na, na rehema ya watu wachache. Yani utuone tuko wachache kwa wanja, utuhurumie. Ye? Yeah? Tuko pamoja. Are we together? Salimia jirana yako na umurize suwari. Where are the compassions of God? Murize rehema sa mungu siku hapi. Iza mbao yesu wali angaria nyikani. Akaona watu elfu tano. Ambao akaona hawa. Niki watuma watazimia njiani. Niki wambia wende kwao watangamia. Haka sema leta kile muliko nacho. Haka sema hatuna chochote. Haka sema kuna mikate tano na samaki mbili. Mungu wa yeshu wakainua kwa ke mungu. Haka ibariki watu elfu tano wakala wa mama elfu tano. Wase elfu tano. Si walikuwa wangapi wote toto. Walikuwa wenge. Lakini neno na mune sema. Aliwangalia, akaona vile wata akavyo zimia. Aka sikuwa na huruma. Sikuwa sababu, walikuwa wakovu. Sikuwa sababu, walikuwa watu wazuri. Sikuwa sababu, walikuwa watu ema. Sikuwa sababu, walikuwa wanagalira. Sikuwa sababu, walikuwa wanasarethi. Lakini Yesu aliwangalia, aka sikuwa na huruma. Jamene si mungu aturudisia huruma. Si mungu aturudisia huruma katika maisha yetu. 
hata kama hatuna fedha tuwe na huruma kwa sababu kuna watu wana fedha hawana huruma haiwezi saidia mtu yeyote kuna watu wana nguvu na misuri lakini kwa sababu hawana huruma zozote hawezi kusaidia mtu yeyote hebu tusimame katika miguu yetu na tuombe Mungu atujaze na huruma zake kwa sababu ya mioyo ya watu wanakaa void kwa sababu ya wenye dhambi ambao tuko na wao kwa sababu ya watu wametuzingira wenye mashida wenye matatizo wenye yani all of these things that are surrounding us the little that we have the little that we can do you have heard the story in literature in english of the hummingbird kale kandege kanaitagwa hummingbird story inasema kwamba kulitokea moto katika msitu moto mkubwa ukatokea msitu na wanyama wakaulizana hii moto imetokea msitu ni lazima tusibe huu moto kwa sababu tutaangamia zote lakini wote wanyama wakanyamaza kandega yako kako na nani long beak kakaenda mutoni kakachota maji na ile tone kakaanza kumwagia maji yani forest is burning na huyo ndege inabeba tone peke yake hata haifiki chini inalambiwa ina, ina huko juu alafu hawa wanyama wakubwa wakubwa ambao ndio kuna ndovu ambao wangevuta maji wakauliza ndege what are you doing na hiyo tone moja ndege akajibu akasema i am doing what i can i am doing what i can i am so merciful over this situation that i can't sit I will do what I can even though what I can cannot do anything. Are we together? Let me see it again. I will do what I can even what I can cannot do anything. While what you can can do something it is in your pocket. Kwa Kiswahili nitafanya yale ninaweza hata ikawaje yale naweza hayawezi. Lakini wewe una yale anaweza lakini haufanyi chochote kwa sababu I'm compassionate about the forest I'm compassionate about the people I will do what I can when I come your tent I don't have much money but whatever little I have I will bring it Najua kuna watu wamepanga safari ya tarehe 10 ili wasibie kwa hapa karibu na sisi Wacha nikwambie wewe panga hiyo safari lakini Mungu anajua hiyo safari umepanga si genuine. Umesikia vile nimesema? Ile imekupata genuine ni sawa. Lakini ile ya kupanga ili sikuepo you can run away from us but you cannot run away from God. You can walk on us, walk out. But you cannot walk out of God. That will not happen because God knows you. God knows me mama, Eunice. God knows me very well. He knows what is in my account. He knows what I can borrow. He knows what I can labor for. He knows the people I can reach. He is not asking for things that we cannot score. Hebu geukia mweo wa jirani yako. Mushike mkono na muombee rehema za Mungu. Restorations of mercy in his life. Mbie Mungu nakuombea, may God restore his mercy in you. May the Lord restore his compassion in you. For blessed are the merciful, for they shall find mercy. Mungu akutende mema akurudishie rehema zake ili na wewe uonee rehema wale watu wengine ili wewe Mungu unapobeba mizigo ya wengine na ya Mungu akubebee mzigo wako katika jina la Yesu Mungu atubariki Mungu turudishie rehema katika jina la Yesu may we restore in Yesu God give us a compassionate heart a compassion for soul a compassion for your work a compassion for the people around us a compassion for our leaders a compassion for our children a compassion for the entire kingdom of god mungu tusaidie mungu tusaidie geuza mioyo yetu iache kuwa mioyo mingumu ibe mioyo iliyoja rehema zako e mungu tukumbuke e mungu tutende mema we thank you father May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord be merciful to you. May the Lord be compassionate to you. May the Lord give you a compassionate heart. 
May the Lord bless you with the mercy. May the Lord give you the compassion. Feel for the people. Feel for the kingdom of God. Feel for the city. Feel for the land. In Jesus' name. Hey.